Well, I've just popped out for supplies. Just on my way back now, because I was in a bit of a rush and didn't manage to get my supplies before I came down. Well, not all of them anyway, not the important ones. Uh, Ian's arrived and set up, which is one of the reasons why I've been out to pop out. He's busy uh, spawning at the moment down there. So I'm going to go and continue my spawning. When I get back, I've done half of it before I got back ache. On the other half, um, I shall do now. I tell you what, I checked on my car temperature and it's uh, 19 degrees now. I think that uh, horrible yucky uh, wind, etc., has uh, died down. Got a bit of warmth to it now. Uh, the rain's gone. And I think there's hardly any rain now at all. The forecast sort of completely changed now. Which is good for us. Be nice and social over the next few nights. Be very good. And we'll uh, yeah see how we uh, see how we get on. He was spawning when I left, so he's uh, nearly at the end of it now. He'll have uh, he'll have back eight by now, just like me. I did earlier. So I'm gonna drop me bag of uh, supplies off and uh, and crack on with uh, crack on with the spawning. And uh, yeah, and then just leave the swim for a nice long rest for a few hours and take it from there, really. Audio, we are now back home. A little encampment. It's all good. The old bivvy's uh, slowly drying out. If you look on the top slightly, you'll see a bit of beading up there still. From the waterproofing. But yeah, looks all good, really. Right. Let's get this uh, bait back out there, get, a, get going. Right, spawning is done. I'll take you for a little bit of a wander around. You're seeing Ian's up to the left of me, sort of below the tower. Um, I wasn't sure if it'd go in here. There's a lot of wind pushing in here. It does look quite nice. Um, really heard a lot in there. The odd fish I have heard, I can't really locate where they are. So I'm thinking that they're not as close as I think they are. So. Yeah, so I'll take you up the end here. Yeah, it's nice up the end here. I did look at this and think about going up here, but well, there's that other swim through there. It's settled in there. It's, yeah, might have a play with that next time I come down. I might uh, see what I can do. But, uh, yeah, if you come up here, I didn't really fish this up here. It's like a sort of backup plan for. Ian and I, this one and the, this one here. The problem is, if you look at where it's situated, the, the ground, it's just, it's just gravel. Unbelievable, really. It's very hard to uh, get a bivy in here, sort of like to purchase it. Purchase. The only way you can get it is sort of sitting here facing that way, which would be straight into the wind, which is well, not very good at all. Ooh, crunchy gravel, my favourite. Um, yeah, alternatively, you can come up here. I do keep thinking about doing, but not not fishing the sort of usual spots. You've got to be careful where you pitch up because it's the ground can be very it's a bit low, and all this where I'm standing now, yeah, fills up with water. So yeah, it's quite weedy apparently as well out here. But I'm sort of well, I'm interested in the spots on my right, quite close in, and. Uh, I do often wonder whether to sort of like put a bait here or just off here trying to sort of intercept them. Don't know. It used to be that sort of gap over there was the one up against the tree line. The fish are so much sort of wiser, clever and smarter. You just don't stand a chance. So yeah, you get a good view from here, don't you? Looking around. That's one of the snags up there on the right hand margin. I try and get to from even when I pick up a fish. So yeah. But we shall see. So I think Ian's done his spawning. And his second car trip, and he fell over then. <laughs> uh, yeah, my third car trip, I don't know really. I know he's finished bombing, I've been and done the rest of mine. So I've been at the shop, cut back, so I think I'll uh, go and make myself a uh, tuna salad wrap or something like that, have that. I might uh, pop round and have a have a glass or something with Ian, but I don't need to uh, have some food first. So. Uh, yeah, it'll be good. 
uh, yeah, if I swim a little bit of a break after all that noise, it doesn't do any harm. So you swim for a little while and come back down. Yeah, flick them out in the late afternoon, the evening, and yeah, take it from there. That one up the in it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just sort of take on a, a right hand detour across here through, the, through this here. Yeah, it is a bit blowy in here. You need to sit slightly further back, right back here to completely get out of the wind. And the problem is, I actually worry about them two trees there rising on my head. As you can see, bits of the tops have fallen off. So I don't want to fish this when there's a strong northwesterly. The problem is, this swim fish is best when there's a strong northwesterly. Need them trees removed, we do. Need them removed. But yeah, it does look, always looks interesting here, always looks cloudy in here, but I think half the reason is there's a uh, gravel plateau out there and the wind just sort of uh, takes off the silt from the top of it and blows it into this corner and churns it all up. But there we are. All safe and sound. Just nice and walk for the long grass and still wet. Nice. Oh well. Now they've got trousers that are going to dry themselves out quick enough. Oh yeah, time for uh, time for food. I sit down. Take it from there. Oh yeah. Well, the swimmers had a rest. I've had my lunch. Um, I get some get some bags out now. Whatever else I want to get out. What do I need? Stringers, that's what I want. And I've got bags and stringers, we quite like that. Quite like the stringer idea. Pop ups into work. We're going to change that. Like, corn board, he didn't work. So we'll see what we got on these. One of these is dead, got a hole in the bottom of it. You know, reassemble it. Yeah, that's the dead one. And then sort that one out. The rest of these are quite usable. Right, yeah, so. So. Okay. Right, yeah, let's uh, sort that hook out on right now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to make up a couple of bags as well, I think. Which we'll see, really. But the conditions are good. There's a bit of a old blow around. I haven't completely checked the forecast because I know it's. I feel it's sort of changing to be honest with you today. Changing. Changing to something else slightly. You can tell I've sort of come back from the shop. My lunches. Oh, there's bits and bobs everywhere to be fair. A bit messy. You need to tidy up. Don't do mess. I must admit. So, let's unpick that and then once I've done that, I'm going to. Make up two bags, I think. There's two bags made up. So, uh, surprisingly sharp. <laughs> Might have applied a little bit too much pressure there, so we're going to stick another, stick another pop up on there. We'll go from now to Catalyst natural pop ups. See, the wind is still fairly, fairly blowy, really. Uh, well, I don't think it's not supposed to be any hurricane positions or anything like that. Uh, it's supposed to be as it is, really. Yep, that is good. Oh, that is good. We're going to make up another couple of bags. Let's do that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Right. Make sure that's a reasonably good one. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my bag making equipment, so still got two usable ones. I don't think the that last one's gonna be very usable at all, to be fair. I do keep meaning to get a clip on, put a clip on here, don't I? Mm -hmm. Just don't like an extra component. But it might speed my speed my process up. But honest with you, I find that in doing this, and I've 
caught a fish. I need a little bit of time to sort of relax, take it on board. You know, I calm myself down. That's not the you know you need to sort of slow your heart rate down after you've caught a fish. You pretty much sort of chill out and calm yourself down. But the longer I take to do stuff, the more enjoyable. Just sort of relax and do it. So I don't really mind really. So pop ups. What's that for? Just thing like that, huh? And if I want one. I want one. Mm. What's a little white one? I've got my box of tricks next to me, the wrong way around. Yeah. Pocket. The bit I use the most. That's all the sort of stuff that I require. The opposite side to where I am at the moment. Um. Uh, yeah, a little white to a little white pop ups. See, it's interesting. I'm using particles as well, aren't I? So, 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 so sitting, sitting off the bottom like that over, over this bed will be just, just perfect, really. Right then, that can go nicely in there. Sit there so I don't cause myself a problem when I get out the door. We have three of these again. I like three of these. It's, 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 it's noisy. It, it, it sits. It sits better. On the, I sort of tie it up. It all does sit better. I'm nearly getting sunshine, so I just don't know. I think the weather conditions have completely and utterly changed. If I've cut this too short, I'll just have to you know, reduce it down to two. It flies better if you a bit more streamlined rather than the sort of like the, the cluster. The cluster doesn't fly very well. Mm, might have to find a problem there. What I do have a problem is I can't find my string and needle. I really need a string and needle, do I? Yeah. I don't think so. Just have to do it with a normal needle. There we go. So what I've done is I've slightly changed the baiting or the feeding approach now. So I can't include these fish. Well, last night's results from Steve and Adrian. I must tell me the fish aren't overly feeding that that well. So, got to tailor things down a little bit. So, I've just gone for another, another pellet. Um, I've one rot and about ten of them over the area I'm fishing. And the other rod, I've just carried on with my uh, infamous uh, boily crumb particle mix and everything. That's how you lose things, isn't it? You put it there, you pick it up, and it's gone. Anyone see me stone thing? No, I can't either. See, it's over here. Yeah. Rubbish. That's our thing, can we? Uh, that little short rig, the fish are well and truly hooked. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I might switch over to bags on this one. What I like about this, you can just sort of fine, fine tune it like that. Yeah. 
right, so I'm not using the pop-up on this one. We're going to change. I know we've got those hot paints as we are. We are going to put all these catalyst ones on. A very gloopy and sticky and oh, smell beautiful. Get that out on the spot. I'll try to tidy this up. I'm gonna go have a outside and a couple of glasses later. I'll make sure everything's all tidied up and neat and tidy and all set for the evening. There we go. Perfect. We like to make sure it's the same length when you blob it down, you the better um, the conglomeration of gloss to and, uh, have it on. Right, peach. So, due to the fact this is. Actually, what I probably should have done is put that on first. Mm -hmm. Put that on there. I like to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it's going on like this now. There we go. Go out like that. Can't argue with that. I'm going to put the I'm paranoid about catching the hooks and everything. I put them down on everything so I can pick it all up perfectly. Right, we are ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Catch some more carp tonight. Finger stall. Right then. We are. We are set. We are set. Bag uh, rod first without tripping over the doorway. What we want. Come on, Peach, bang on the knot, bang on the middle of the trees, exactly where I wanted it. Perfect. Slow that down because I thought it was going to actually uh, spring back and get me. What I usually have to do, do that, sorry about that, got to do it. Alright, so, perfect. Bungees, lovely bungees. Nice bit of slack line in that, that's good. Line clip. Clicking that up here. Perfect. That will just slowly, surely sort itself out. It'll give it a few bleeps. We're not worried about this. Alright, stringer rod. Now this is not clipped up. I don't think it's anyway. Oh, it is clipped up actually. I have to clip them both up. Good boy. Good boy. Well, what I like to do is I like to actually feel the spot. Clip it up. Fill the spot, clip it up. I've got to be careful this one, so I have to give it a good old lob and slow it down, get it on that spot in an evil crosswind. And I need to get it. So you've got to take a look at a little bit of the crosswind and pray.
Oh, guys, wow, looking good, looking good. Yes, hit the clip beautifully. Look at that, that is a good bit of bait out there. And that, hmm, there was a line around the back of the spool there, that would have been a disaster, one of these takes. Hey, yeah, yeah, would it ever? Would it ever? Bungee, you need bungees on here, I tell you. I'm in another place like it. So, there you go. Done. Done. Done, done, done. Not a fuss part to get all things aligned and get everything right. A few bleeps in the night last night. I'm not sure whether it was these getting in the way, so I was just uh, down a bit. Yeah. Right, that is perfect, eh? We like that. I'll right, touch that a little bit better. There. Yeah. Oh, righty ho. Right. Well, I'm going to make up some bags. He says. I say this uh, really zero idea of where the bag making equipment is. A bit noisy. So bags and things. Bingo, that's perfect then. Alright, let's tidy up. Gotta tidy up. Another tidy up. I'm gonna have to make up two bags. to get me deeper out tomorrow I've got a little bit more <coughs> time available to do stuff we've got a chat with Ian today really so right so let's basically got two bags to make up don't know if I can make any more up I don't know if I've got any I don't know if I've got any of these uh, look at me in my leg bag. Yeah, I've got two more. Three more. Not for being a bit optimistic. I do feel these fish are actually going to come on the feed, so I need to be very, very optimistic. Get this, uh, get this out there, get it sorted. One, two, three, yes. There we go. So there we go. Yeah, that's going to be very. Very optimistic. Hmm. Thank you. 
a bit crowded in here at the moment but look I've got the weather there that'll be on in at the moment the uh, lasagna is there I've got my salad box there the chopping board and everything there I'll be all set for uh, tea in a little minute I've, uh, oops, excuse me ah, what a lovely view to sit and watch eat tea by and look out the window I've got my binoculars set there just in case I need them and uh, yeah we'll sort of uh, take it from there see where we go now leading into the uh, leading into the second night weather's looking so much better than it was and uh, yeah fingers crossed uh, should be all good really just have to hope and pray all right then let's get this food going shall we well the inside of my bivvy's looking all a lot tidier I've done the washing up sorted everything out um the drizzly stuff stopped it's well, it's calming down quite nicely, really. I was expecting a little bit more um, wind, but it doesn't seem to be the case, really. Um, I know I'm on the back of the wind, so let's go and sort of head over here and see what we're uh, thinking about it out there. I think the pigeons are uh, trying to get it on up the tree. <laughs> it's not walking this swim, it's quite nice. You get a sort of good view and across the lake here. Yeah. The sort of uh, glimpse of the tower up there and things. So, uh, ground's still quite wet, really. Yeah, there's a little bit of a breeze, not much of a breeze, even on this sort of uh, front. Yeah, they're up there in the tree. Noisy lot, aren't they? Noisy lot. Yeah, it's always coloured, look, it's quite coloured. As I said earlier on, it's because of the uh, wind that blows across there, some rather nasty snags over there, I've seen fish in the winter before when I fished them, it's ice, yeah, bit of a nightmare, bit of a nightmare to contain things, I love that big tree on the horizon, loving these purple flowers, alrighty, look, <laughs> feathers falling down from the sky, The one just landed there. Noisy lot. Oh, better. Well, yeah. Well, that is me for the evening. Sitting there. And across that view there. Absolutely gorgeous. What more could you ask for? Hey. Oh, this is nice. Sit here and, uh, yeah, just chill out. Watch the world go by, enjoy it, relax, unwind, sort all your mental health issues out. Just, well, I feel it's a cure for everything, really, to be perfectly honest with you. Ah. Pray one of them does rattle off tonight, but who knows, really? Who knows? Should do, can't see why not. Everything went well, the baiting up went well. All positioned well, all looking good. Yeah, should be perfect, really. Have to see. We can bag one or two tonight. Our oh, vegetation's dying down. Yeah, you know, last month of summer is uh, ever approaching. It won't be long. Sorry about the shaking, but I've got a fly on my head. <laughs> Good and better. All right, there we go. Right, I'm going to go and write up the rest of the day. In fact, if we swim, I think this is the last video of the day that I'm aware of. Nice if one of these went off before it went dark. Nice to, uh, yeah. Hmm. Nice to get a daylight car. Loosely was a daylight car this morning, but we're not allowed to use retainers here, so. And I don't particularly like these containers, just for the, just for the sake of a uh, 
trophy shot. No, it's a living creature. Get it back where it belongs. In its proper, you know, proper format. Swimming around. Not stuck in a retainer. There's a lot of, you know, some people think retainers are good and some people think sacks are good. Um, personally, I think sacks are better than retainers. I'm not allowed to use sacks on here. Um, but realistically, neither of them are any good. Fish need to be back in its environment as quick as possible. On that note, I bid you farewell, and uh, yeah, I might uh, have a glass of wine now. Good time for a glass of wine. See you later, boys and girls. Well, good morning from the airfield lake. It's uh, been a very bleak night, to be perfectly honest with you. I was expecting a little bit more, more from it, but no. I think the weather, weather sort of changed quite a bit. The wind's now pushing more westerly. I think there's no rain. It's not as strong as it was supposed to be, but it still looks fishy out there. I do expect uh, things to be sort of uh, rattling off at any moment. Uh, there's a little bit of rain and drizzle apparently forecast, but doesn't seem to have got that yet. We're both sitting out here at the moment having a uh, cup of coffee, got the binoculars out, been watching the carp out in the lake. Not where we're fishing, or beyond, but it's interesting to watch them though. You know, tails flapping around in the snags and fins coming out and heads poking out, so you you know they're there. You know they're about, they're not too far away, but uh, just not within the of capabilities of casting that far, but like beyond beyond the island in the distance. But uh, yeah, it's looking very sort of uh, moody out there in the skies. I'll have a head over here and have a look over here. I might actually see something. I don't think I've heard anything topping over here yet today. Normally have a nice little single bleep there from my uh, remote. Uh, probably a bit of wind actually that was. Just picked up the. Only sort of picks up a gust. Be good if it went off while I was doing this, wouldn't it? But yeah, does look good in here. I must admit. But we shall see. You know, Ian's had nothing off. Had nothing last night. But uh, conditions do look well. Look very good indeed. Really do. It feels like we should catch a fish. No, why we're not. Really don't. Not frustrating in some respects. But there we go. Well. What can I say? I think the lake has uh, oh, done me really. Not the lake, the weather. It's, um, yeah, it's wind completely and utterly died down. The sun has come out. We've got a broken cloud. It's quite warm and sticky. I don't quite know what happened to the um, overclass drivel. Drivel? Yeah, it was drivel forecast. Um, drizzly weather through the, through the morning. I kept getting couple of liners as well every so often when the weather was looking really good and then it just like fade out and the heat would go up the sun would come out again <sighs> it's yeah so it's about half 12 now so Ian and I've decided we're gonna reel in swam out what's left of uh, what we want to get out for today and tonight um and pop out have a chat with another couple of anglers down the bottom lake and uh yeah just go for a little bit of a wander around and a look and uh yeah just so we can see, just have a little bit of a look around. It's uh, been a been a while since we've had a look around at things, so it's got to be worth a go, I think. And uh, take it from there, realistically. But yeah, I think it's uh, got to reel one of these two rods in and uh, set about uh, top of the swim up a little bit more and see. I'm not going to go too overboard. Sort of starting to tame it down a little bit now. Why the screen did that? I don't know. Perhaps because I went like that. Go out. Go in. No. Oh. Automatic controlling focus. I can't just wish it'd stay where it is. <laughs> so, modern, uh, modern things, see, and doing it all by yourself. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see where that uh, where that pans out, and um, sort of then so wander around at half four, come come back probably, and uh, sort of, uh, chuck the rods out, swim a good break for a few hours, and have a good stroll around the lake, looking at different areas and things. It's it's always worth doing that just to see how things have changed and what's occurring so we shall do that all right i'm going to get spawning 
I'll check out the rigs to make sure they're all good and then move on from there, really. Oh, yeah. That's quite good, see? It's just I lean forward, it does zoom in when I want it to. It's quite good. There we go. Right then, let's get the uh, right hand one running first. Turn the alarms off. And bungee. That should be absolutely perfect. That there, I'm going to clip it up. That's what I want to do. Pull for. Beautiful. Yeah, no idea why that's not producing me anything. Anyway, I don't know. Rick's needle sharp. That smells perfect. No idea. Feed Roland. Oh well. It's what it is. Mm -hmm. Put that there out of the way. Get my spawn rod. Yeah. This bomb rod ready. Get my glove sorted out. Alright then, let's just make sure there's a Peach, absolutely peach that is. Absolutely peach. Perfect as well. Yeah. There we go. That's where we go. Right. Let's put that up there. That's the safe and sound on there. That'll be good. Right then. Let's get this spawning done. Get some bait out there, shall we? Get some bait out there. Alright, so Ugh. might go oh, goof. Might swap over spawns on that one. Put all the pellet in there. Put all the pellet in that. Like that. Change over swap bombs, I think, as well. A proper spawn. Yeah, because it spawns easier. Yeah, well, that's it. I don't use every spawn's going, really, to be fair. I need to do a review of spawns. First of all, dot spawn. Hmm. Small micro pellets. And sort of ground bait mix like what I've got here sort of chopped up stuff yeah useless dot spawn annoying can't get the grips with it at all very hard to you know, get it to operate dot spawn boilies 
pellets, big particles, awesome. So much faster. I okay, a wolf one I'm using at the moment, perfect for chops and things like that. Um, I like the spawns, but they don't, they just don't, they just don't open enough times for me, personally. But, uh, I do want them TF gear ones actually, to be fair. Mm. Okay, now, if this doesn't explode in the air, <laughs> I've got away with it. If it does explode in the air, you have a laugh. So I think this is going to explode in the air. You have a nice, gentle, smooth. Nice, gentle, smooth flick, and there we go. <laughs> I hope that's on film. I can get a bit of uh, footage of that going wrong. Ah, oh dear. Nice particle shower. That'll teach me, won't it? Just run a little bit too much on the... They are pretty good, these wolfies, and you can normally get, a, get away with crushing it down in the middle, aren't they? They, they, they're good. They don't explode on you. See? Um, that one's pretty loaded, but not as loaded as the last one. Come on. Well, Ian and I have been out for a wander around the lake, had a good look about. It's nice to get out and go around everywhere. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Went round, well, went round the whole complex really. Been gone about an hour a little bit. So, yeah, it's interesting. The little areas and swims and you know options for the future. Some of the swims are quite overgrown at the moment, which is quite nice because you know I can just sneak in there and do a little bit of pruning and set them up and make them look good. And it'll be, yeah, it'll be good really. It's what you want. You know, the fish clearly aren't uh, over there doing anything whatsoever at the moment. So, yeah, it's very quiet, and I must admit. So I'm going to come back now and uh, get my rods back out, get some fresh bait bags on, and uh, yeah, see how we can how we can go. I'm talking about the idea of putting a bag on the other rod. Don't know yet. I've got a nice bit, a nice bit of blow coming across here, going through this swim. So it's 
where I want to cast is slightly left and I'm not sure whether the bags can be a good thing but I do quite like the idea of the bags being out there um, I might have a go do that it's not too difficult to do take it from there really right I better get on and uh, do that and uh, yeah I'll catch up with you in a bit <laughs> Well, the afternoon has uh, certainly, uh, well, it was, oh, yeah, you saw the afternoon, now we have the evening. Really looks carpy, absolutely fantastic. There's a couple of people have turned up to fish tonight, which is good news. They've gone over that side, so they might push, push the fish out and across over here. Hopefully so, but yeah, this evening is really, really carpy. Conditions are fantastic. Um... Yeah, can't, you know, can't argue with that. Me and Ian have been sitting out having a chat. Uh, but now we've sort of gone in. Um, my family are sort of away at the mother-in-law's, uh, a little bit further west than me, and they've rang up and said it's raining there. So Ian and I have decided, right, that's it. We've uh, had our little, uh, little bit of fun today. It's time to settle down in the bivvy for the night, watch some films, looks, watch the lake a little bit more. Fingers crossed, one of them rattles off, but it does look and, um, well, certainly is looking good in it, realistically. Um, I've changed over now, so I've got bags on both rods. Um, I've played around with the hook baits, one's still got a pop up on it, one's got a different wafter on it, and just sort of take it from there, realistically, see where we go. But yeah, it's, it's, ah, oh, I just said to Ian, you know, it's, it's, it's got to switch on soon. One of us has got to start catching. And, uh, yeah. Should be. Oh, you think about it tonight. We went over when we had a little bit of a wander around. Went down to the bottom lake and had a chat with Steve down there. And, it, well, he ain't caught. He, he struggled to catch last week as well. So, it's just sort of screaming that we should catch fish. But clearly, just no one is at the moment. It's just not not quite producing uh, the weather my only explanation to be perfect honest with you we all like to sort of understand things is the fact that um post spawning you know the fish are spawned they're just sort of chilling out and relaxing apart from just a single bleep then whether you pick that up or not on this i don't know i don't think it's really that windy then we get a single bleep. That's probably on the braid rod. The braid rod picks up little single bleeps and things. This is uh, quite nice. I was going to put braid on the. I've been using mono on the other rod. And I was going to put um, braid on another spool and get it back out there again today. But the line layer of the sort of the backing of the mono is pretty rubbish. So I've got to actually take the whole lot off and start all over again. I thought. Nah, I can't be bothered with that. I forgot to bring my line stripper, so I couldn't do that. Otherwise, I would have done it realistically. So, yeah. Crunchy gravel. We love crunchy gravel, don't we? Nope, oh, we don't. We hate it. I just can't. Gravelly swims. No. Taylor made swims. No. Manicured swims. No. Rough radian thingy. Yes.